All right, so I want to do a quick tutorial to show um, a little hack to um, make a really targeted Twitter audience. Um, so the type of audience that we're going to make for our Twitter ads is a tailored audience. And um, you have all these options here to make your own audience um, based on different parameters that you can upload. And one of the most targeted ways is the Twitter handle. Um, so if you have a list of people that you want to target, um, you know, how, how much how much more targeted can you get than their actual handle? Um, so in the past, it's pretty hard to uh, manually sift through and, and find all these handles. Um, but now there is a, a quick way to do it. Um, thanks to um, Phantom Buster. So I'm going to show you how to use Phantom Buster to find a lot of um, targeted Twitter handles for your Twitter ads. Um, and so the, the Phantom that we're going to use is called... Um, we'll find it here by going to Twitter. Um, Twitter likes export. So you can follow and export um, followers of accounts, but I like using the likes exports um, instead because I think um, a like is um, showing that this user is more engaged and they're more of an active person. Maybe they're more recent. Um, and, you know, sometimes followers um, don't always tell the full tale, but a like is more um, visible and um, it's an actual action that somebody has to take um, to show that they are a still, still an engaged Twitter user. Um, so I think um, using the likes export is the better option here. And, and you know, that history of engagement of somebody liking tweets um, for you could be more engagement on your ads when you're served and you're targeting them. If that user has a, has a history of liking tweets, perhaps they're more inclined to like your um, ad. And then, you know, you get the benefits of the, the free lift from that as well, because you get more social proof um, on your ads with higher likes and retweets and you get more exposure due to that. So let's figure out how to find a targeted list. Um, first, we're going to connect to Twitter and our session cookie will pop in. Um, and we can we can do a tweet URL to find the likes of a single tweet, or we can set up a spreadsheet like I have here um, of multiple tweets that we're going to use to target um, or to find the likes uh, uh, the users who like the tweets of. So um, for me, I um, am running a job board called SemJobs.io, and it's for um, search engine marketers. So I want to find users who um, are in the SEO space. So there's a few ways you can do that. Um, you can look at influencers in your market. So uh, maybe look at somebody like Neil Patel and, and scrape the users that like his tweets. Um, I can look at competitors, competitor job boards and the people liking their posts. But the, the one I've chosen here is looking at the tools in the market that um, specific SEO professionals would use. So I've got one from a tweet from Ahrefs. I've got a tweet from Sem SEMrush and then a tweet from Moz here that all have um, fairly high engagement and they've all been posted within the past few days. Um, so the people that are liking this, these tweets um, are, you know, hopefully really targeted SEO professionals. So we will um, use that CSV. So we need to get the um, URL here to share with Phantom Buster. Column name where tweet URLs are stored. I named it just URL. So there you go. And kind of tweets to scrape the launch. We've got three, so we can do that. And the name of the resulting CSV will be um, likers of scrapes tweets. So let's set this up. We'll run it manually. And we can launch it. And we can see Phantom Buster already starting to do its magic. So it's going to scrape these these tweets and export all of the people who liked um, those tweets into a CSV file for us. So it's on the first tweet, the um, Ahrefs tweet. Now it's already on the SEMrush tweet and already on the Moz tweet and should wrap up here shortly. There we go. So we've got the CSV already, likers of scraped tweets. And I'm going to um, import that into my sheets. So import, upload, like or subscribe tweets. I'm going to replace the current sheet and import the data. And there we go. So um, we've got the tweet um, the, and the profile URL. And here are the handles of everybody who liked these tweets. So not only do we get their profile URL, we get their handle. Um, 
and yeah, there we have it. So I think, you know, we've got this super targeted list here of people who have liked tweets from SEMrush, Ahrefs, and uh, Moz within the past few days. Um, and I can use this list to um, target to put um, my remote job board in front of them and say, hey, look, we've got SEO jobs for you if you're interested um, that are remote as well. So um, one of the other things you can do here that's pretty cool um, in Sheets is um, create a filter. And if you want to get super targeted and you want to make sure that they themselves identify as an SEO, um, we can filter this um, by condition and text contains SEO. And then we know that even in their profile, they mentioned that they're an SEO in there. And now we've got a super targeted list of um, SEO professionals. So this is only about 100 people. Um, I just did it for the uh, a short list for this tutorial, but you can do this and multiply it by thousands. Um, and yeah, just another fun way to use Phantom Buster. Thanks.